All right, so it is early, early. You can see we got the pigs over there. We are slightly restricting their feed. So we started doing that for the most part in the last week or two. Um, so you can see I dropped about half a bag of feed in there and they're all just rampaging the feeder. So we've got these pigs. Well, the first group of pigs goes to the processor in about a month. So we want to be able to start controlling them <laughs> well, as best as you can control pigs, which is not very much. But we want to be able to start controlling them. A very effective way to do that, of course, is with feed. So they're still getting plenty. And the goal right now is to get about six or seven pounds of feed per pig per day um, to still get you know, a pound or two per day as far as growth. You see we got one here grabbing a drink of water this morning. <laughs> so she's thirsty too. But uh, obviously they're very hungry and chowing down. And then as far as the manure pile, you can see we got the new one going there, uh, wood chips. One of the challenges with wood chips is they have a tendency to get kind of, I think it's called hydrophobic. Basically, they don't soak in water really well when they're super dry. And most of our wood chips back there are very, very dry. So we gotta make sure we soak them really, really well and we do that regularly. And then a shot back this way, you can see back behind me, those are the uh, composting piles of pig manure there. And this area here, um, we'll be talking about here a little bit later. This year, this weather has been really, really strange. We are down in the low 40s again this morning. At the end of March, that's uh, really odd for us here in Arizona. In fact, this will hopefully be the last morning we drop below 50 because we've got some planting to do back there in the garden beds that we haven't really been able to get to. We've been in the upper 30s, low 40s every morning. So. We really need it to warm up because <laughs> we have things we want to get planted and get started for spring. And then obviously we want to make sure all the trees are coming out of dormancy like they should be. So Laura and I are getting to work here uh, with a couple more projects. In fact, one of the things that we need to get done today is up there. We have the chickens that need to go onto pasture. We've been waiting for them to get big enough. They're definitely big enough at this point to get into a tractor and onto the pasture here at about two weeks old. We'll still keep heat on them because it's so, so cold here in the mornings. I've got Lori coming over. She's all bundled. Uh, hey, sweetheart. Hi. Hi. How are you feeling this morning? Cold? <laughs> it was cold over there. I'm fine now. <laughs> You're like, what? I'm feeling fine. What's wrong? It was oh. really cold when I first started, but. Uh, well, yeah, it's really cold. My fingers... It's 45. Oh, that's <laughs> just cold. That's what my phone says. So we're basically still getting chill hours mm -hmm. at the end of March in Arizona. Yeah. Ridiculous. I mean, that's great, but, but we've had enough. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we've got a few projects we need to try to knock out this morning. Um, oh, one thing we have the um, viewer video playlist up. We've got a few videos on there, which is kind of cool to see. We really love seeing those from you guys. So if you guys are willing to share a video with us um, of what you guys are doing, we'd love to see it. Yeah. Um, and then we have live stream next week. Yes. Live stream first Saturday of the month. It's right before Easter, day before Easter. So that will be fun to have everybody, hopefully. <laughs> see a few people there still. All right, so we got some projects to do. What should we do? I thought we were working on the garden beds. There we go, working on the garden beds. All right, so a project we wanna work on with you guys today is getting these spring garden beds done. So you can kind of see how the fall beds did. Eh, not so great, but we weren't expecting it to be all that good because the soil's not really in good shape yet. This first bed did pretty well. You can see we got a lot of greens going, beets. We've been pulling salad greens out of there. Um, just posted on Instagram today a fantastic dinner that Lori and I had that was 100% farm raised, grown. But uh, those are doing good. About to wrap up here in another few weeks. But um, one of the things that we did when we installed these beds is we didn't put anything inside the bricks. Now, a couple reasons why we didn't, but it doesn't really make too much of a difference. The issue that we have though is we are utilizing these small EMT pipes to hold this bird netting down. And it's done fine, we haven't had any issues. You can see we've had the greens in here, birds aren't chowing down on them, rabbits aren't getting to them, all that great stuff. But um, it is easy for things to get underneath here because there's nothing to fill these gaps in the bricks. Now, part of that was just um, us really trying to speed through and get a lot of this stuff done. We wanted to get things into these beds, but um, at the same time, what's happened, if Lori looks that way, is you'll see when it, we get the heavy winds, as we were kind of worried about, these have a tendency to come back. And the challenge is we have rodents that can get, that basically dig underneath here. Um, you'll see that over there. They'll dig under here and they'll get up into here 
and they definitely can climb up the sides of these bricks and get into the beds. So what we're gonna do when we set these spring beds, which we're gonna be starting to work on today, so we're gonna be filling in each one of these bricks with ABC, tamping that in really well to solidify the bricks and also make sure that we can basically just let these dangle. Um, in fact, that's our plan is to basically just let them stay just like this. That will keep things from being able to get in here and then still be able to keep the birds from not getting in as well. Just make it a lot easier for us to work with these. So we're gonna go ahead and get to work. <laughs> we got this and a whole bunch of other stuff to get done. You can see we got this done and it's nice and secure we still need to come back and fill in the abc um, but we don't have the hardware cloth that we normally put in the front here it's we had to order it from home depot they didn't have it in stock we're supposed to get that sometime next week um, but we are still going to plant in this bed today because we don't need to worry about the small plant starts getting eaten by birds because there's no greens on them yet so Lori and I are gonna go ahead and head down and start doing the rest of these beds. To give you an idea of what we got done so far. So we were able to get those back three beds all framed in and we've got about halfway done here and actually we've got another project to run to. Right now, this time of year, especially with it warming up, it is a scramble to try to get projects done before it gets just too hot. And you know, our farming season is the opposite of the rest of the country. So we do our farming in the fall through spring where everybody else does it through spring through fall. So um, this is truly that push that most farmers in the fall have to get crops in and projects done and things like that before winter sets in. Our winter time is our summertime. So <laughs> we got to set this down and then I'm headed this way. So you can see right back there, we've got Nate. We got a bunch of steel delivered because we were putting in the fencing that runs along between our two properties and also back at the livestock acre, the permanent fencing that we're gonna be putting in. So he and I are going to be working on getting holes drilled today and getting the main posts in. <laughs> Again, scrambling because we know that heat's coming. In fact, I think we have our first 90 degree day that is forecast for this week, which means we have got to get this stuff wrapped up here in the next month or two. We've been working for a while trying to get these holes dug. I'm actually standing on our livestock acre. Obviously, we're going to be working on fencing this in here over the next several weeks. So we've been drilling holes to get the main post set. We have the corner post set on this side and we've got a, a center hole that we need to dig here. So kind of an intermediate hole that's gonna be right here. And we wanted to show you guys really quick how this auger works with those extensions so you can kind of see how the holes are getting dug. We're gonna keep our fingers crossed. It's not working on all of them. So we got a couple that we've had to go back and fill with water. We're gonna have to hit it again. But we're, we'll see about this one, whether or not we're gonna be able to get it in one shot. So we're gonna flip the camera around, see if we can get this hole dug. Okay, so we got a lot of the fencing done. You're not gonna be able to see it from here, but we have the four cor corner posts on the livestock acre completed and the two kind of like the uh, mainline posts, um, the heavier duty posts in between them on our side. So we gotta come back. You guys probably saw 
that dirt is so hard back there, we still could not punch through. We got a couple more feet out of it. Typically, we'd get about a foot down and then have to dump water. We got about two or so feet down, had to drop water in there, so we're gonna come back to that tomorrow. All right, so we are gonna be dealing with these little nuggets here. So the nuggets are getting big. Might be hard to make out, but they are definitely out of room. And they're nice and big, so they're staying nice and warm, and we're gonna be warm. So I think we're, we're gonna stay above 50 tonight, which is good. And tomorrow, we are going to be in the 80s. So these guys are gonna be very comfortable. We'll have to get some heat lamps set up on them tonight, but we wanna get them out on the pasture. So at two weeks, these guys are going out on pasture. So we're in the middle of grabbing the chickens and it's gonna probably be hard to make out, but we finally have some alfalfa coming in, which is really exciting. We're gonna definitely seed behind them. We're trying to figure out what we can keep green as long as possible. And we're hopeful, hopeful that this alfalfa is gonna do that. Plus the ryegrass is actually still doing okay. All right, we've got feed and water ready for the chickens. Now we need to go and uh, get the nuggets and get them into their new home on pasture. Really cool to have these guys on pasture. This represents the last round of livestock that we have for the season. I was talking a little bit earlier about our seasons being reversed from everybody else. So this is our last round of broilers on pasture until we take the summer off. So cool to see them. As you can see, they are pounding the food, doing what Cornish cross chickens do best. Um, but eventually they'll start eating some of this grass. So they'll stay on pasture. We do need to hang a couple of heat lamps. They're just fine right now. We do want to make sure they're nice and warm tonight still. For another week or so, we'll keep an eye on them, give them supplemental heat in the evenings as we need to, um, but they're on grass from now on. So that's cool to see. We got to get th things wrapped up here pretty quick. We've got, uh, we actually are finally filming for the other channel again today. We need to wrap up our fall vintages and actually get them degassed, back sweetened and bottled. So we're gonna be working on that here over the next week or so, getting that filmed for you guys. So we have gotta get that taken care of this afternoon. But when we are over here looking at these garden beds and working on this, we found this guy here. So that is a radish of some sort. I thought we, I thought we put some daikon radish in here, but it kind of looks like it might be a black radish. I'm not too sure, but we're gonna be putting some things into these beds to grow during the summertime, we'll get them planted probably next weekend, now that it's nice and warm. But I wanna pull this up and see what it is. <laughs> That's bogus. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is a black radish. Down there, oh, there we go. Oh yeah, that definitely is. So definitely a black radish. Martin, thank you. We've got some salad greens we need to pull, probably have those for dinner tonight and a little bit of this black radish will give it that, that nice little radish punch. Okay, so we've got a few things we are gonna get done today. We, start, we are just slammed with things that we have to get done here over the next couple weeks before it really heats up. So glad you guys are here with us. One more thing as a reminder, next weekend we will have our Saturday night q and I know it's Easter weekend, but we're trying to stick to that first Saturday of every month. So we'll have that at three o'clock Arizona time. Um, if you guys can make it, we'd love to see you there. So as you guys know, and we say all the time, if we can do this on the edge of nowhere, so can you. <laughs> oh, it's so cold is we're gonna go ahead and fill each one of these bricks with EMT, tamp it down real good to make it's sure. It's called ABC. ABC. 
There you go, EFT ABC. <laughs> All right, I'll try that again. You know, you're supposed to have the right tools for the job. Mm -hmm. I don't think a broken off EMT pipe serves as a shovel or a trowel very good, does mm -hmm. it? 